Hello, ducklings! I hope you're all having a fantabulous Christmas holiday. Today, we are going to make our December artist card. Now, we haven't done this on the Fuzzy Duckling. This is something for me, and I think it will be really fun. We're going to try to do an artist card every month this year, starting early. And what is, what is an artist card? You may have done these many times before, or you may have never heard of it. Now, a lot of people call these artist trading cards, but uh, we're going to call them art cards on the Fuzzy Duckling because we're going to make them out of cards, all kinds of cards. Right now, I have a set of long division cards that, uh, well, I'm too old for school anyway. I got these at Goodwill for 50 cents. You could use a regular deck of playing cards. I mean, there's any cards that you get out of a game, and they all come in different sizes. And what is an art card? It's just a tiny piece of art. And one really neat thing about art cards is that you can make these fairly quickly. You can try out all kinds of media on these, and you can just experiment to your heart's content without using a lot of materials or taking a lot of time. And they're fun to collect. You can trade these with your friends, hence why some people call them trading cards. But as I say, we're going to call these art cards. The ones I make, I'm going to hang on my wall on a little thing that I have that close that I use clothespins on to uh, show off some of my art. So this is the absolute first art card I've made, and I'm going to take you on the journey and hope that this is something you might like to do. So find you any card, any size you wish. I kind of like this one because it's a little bigger than a regular playing card. And then you need a little item that will be the center of attention. Now, this cute little guy I got off of a Christmas card. So, check out your Christmas cards. Look here. See, I have a couple more. Look at this cute little angel that was on this Christmas card. Or, here we go. These beautiful deer. And these come right off of these cards. So, don't throw your Christmas cards away till you've checked them all for great things to use in your art. Not only on art cards, but on art journal pages and scrapbooking. Christmas cards are a great source of embellishments. And not just Christmas cards, any card. So, this little guy I found on a Christmas card. You probably won't find this exact one. In fact, I've had him hanging around for two or three years. But you can find something equally as cute. Another great place to get uh, little figures to use is on your gift tags. Gift tags. There's so many cute gift tags out there. Now, I've used a lot of these. But look, say what about... Look at these. How cute they... The cute cards. He would make a cute one, wouldn't he? There's Santa. We could cut him out and make him the size of our card. Or, of course, you can get all kinds of Christmas stickers in the store. So it's endless what you can do with these. So actually what I'm showing you on these art cards will be just ideas for you to take and make some for yourself. Now, this time the media and, and the supplies I'm going to use are going to be washi tape. You could cut strips of paper in place of using washi tape. But I love washi tape and I have all kinds of neat designs my little card figure, and some gold stars. So let's start. Now I am going to just line up my washi tape up and down this card till the front of this card is totally covered. Now be careful and get them on as straight as you can. And then I'll just tear it off there. And yes, I fastened it down to my workspace, but you know, I think that's absolutely okay. It'll keep it still for me. So here we go. I think I will do this one next. I already picked out several pieces that look really neat together. This kind of project is really easy. It doesn't take much time, but you have the cutest little pieces of art when you're done. Oops, got to get that on there straight. Don't want any of my cards showing through. Eventually, we'll do some where we paint on our cards and we add um, decoupage on our cards. 
all kinds of things. I feel like I didn't go real straight there. But you know what? We're going to say it's good anyway. I'm going to put another one of these here. After all, it's my first one. And then I'm going to put this pretty little blue one here. And now let's um let's do one of these. I haven't done one of these yet. Whoops. Yeah, I'm being a little bit clumsy here, but you know, that's okay. It's really handy because we're not even using glue or anything for this project. Yeah, we will, but not yet. Okay. I think I'll uh, use another one of these. It kind of looks like stars in the sky. I just love the designs you can get on washi tape. It can get rather addictive, actually. But I imagine there's worse things to be addicted to. Okay, let's do another one of these. See how quickly this is coming together? Looks kind of funny right now, but you know what? When we're done, it's going to be really neat. And let's see. I want these little designs to go this direction, and we will have filled our card. There we go. Now I need to peel this up. So now that I flattened it all down, we're going to peel it back up. Which, because it's washi tape, will work just fine. Now, I'm going to cut the edges. Get my scissors here. And we're just going to cut around my card. And cut off all the ex excess washi tape. Almost seems a shame to waste those little pieces. And they definitely stick. There we go. So you could go read all your games. If you've got some games you don't play that have cards in them, perfect use for them always great to recycle things and if you can recycle them for your art that's even better yet and if you don't want to get rid of any of your game pieces you can always go to like Walmart or the Salvation Army and usually you'll find old games there full of cards all right now look how neat that turned out already now Let's attach our little guy here. Now, he was on this card with some type of backing tape that we are going to just take off. No, oh, look at that. Isn't that going to be cute? I'm wondering if I do need to frame this, you know, like up and down this way. Ooh, I think I need to do that before I attach him. I think that would be cute. See, a lot of this, we just kind of figure out how we want to do it while we're doing it. We don't always plan them out ahead of time. Maybe it would be better if we did, but you know what? It's fun just to kind of see how things are going to turn out. All right, now I'm going to put one along here, too. Isn't he cute? I just think he's adorable. Here we go. Whoops. So, do you think I should put one around the top or just leave it like that? I kind of like it that way. What would it look like? Yeah, I think we'll just leave it that way and have it on the sides. 
So again, I need to pry this up and trim it. I went just a tad crooked there, but that's all right. You know, one thing about washi tape is you can pick it up and stick it back down again, which makes it a really fun medium to work with. We need to stop thinking of washi tape as just tape. It's a lot of things. There we go. All right, now I need to get some glue for this guy. Okay, found my glue. I had to go hunt for it. Do you ever lose your art supplies when you use them all over the house? Sometimes you have to go track them down. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of my image here. And if you want lots of neat images, go to uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. My goodness. But if you don't have the chance to do that, hey, your cards are a great spot. So I'm just going to fasten this little guy on there. Press him down. Now we're going to add some so, uh, gold stars. I was going to say silver stars, but these are gold to match the gold around the edges of this. So let's get some of these sticker stars off of here. I think I need longer fingernails. Here we go. Now that one has a little point missing. I'm going to put that one back for now. I think let's try another one. There we go. This little star is all there. Let's put one right there. We're about done with this card. See how fast and easy these are to make? I'll put one right there. Okay, if you had a stamp that said Merry Christmas or something, you could put that right here. But you know, I'm just happy with this as it is. I'm going to bring this up here where you can see it plain. Now, did you see how quick and easy that was? And yet we made a piece of art. And you may wonder, what do you do with these? Well, you could have you a journal book where you put all of your art cards in it to see your collection and keep them for years to come. You could put this in an envelope and send it as a Christmas card. You could maybe perhaps put another piece of paper on the back where you wrote a little message and sent this. It's like a postcard. Although with all these little additions that are pasted on, I wouldn't actually send this as a card unless I decoupaged it, which you could decoupage it. Wouldn't that be neat? see what else can you I'm going to hang it on a little uh, board that holds that that has little it has clothespins on it where I can hang my art up oh there's just so many things you could do with these and they're cute and they're easy well I hope you enjoyed making our first December art card we may make a couple more. We'll see. Maybe before Christmas comes, there'll be a couple more art cards show up on our site. So I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Enjoy yourself as much as you can. Bye-bye for now.